In this video, I will demonstrate how to show vertical elevations of my profile in my plan view. I have a active terrain. I have a horizontal alignment with a feature definition. I have a profile with a feature definition and my profile is also set to active. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, and this is not uh, necessary at the beginning, but it helps and I will tell you why in the end first thing I'm going to do is annotate my horizontal alignment. I'm also going to zoom in just a bit here. I'm now going to select place text. I'm going to select insert favorite and manage. I'm now going to create a text favorite and I'm going to call my text favorite profile elevation for my field type I'm going to select open roads plan annotation fields my field subtype is linear annotation and because we want to place an elevation, I'm going to expand point and select point Z because we want that elevation from our profile. I'm going to select accept. I'm going to save that favorite and then close and close my text editor. From Open World Standards, expand your annotation group plan linear I have a group created already called station if you don't have a group created just right click and new but I'm just going to select my current group here and manage and let's go ahead and expand this and I am going to add new alignment annotation I'm going to rename my alignment annotation to vertical alignment annotation I'm going to set my increments to 100 and we want to annotate with text so at annotate with I'm going to change that line to text and for our text options because we're bringing in elevations from our profile I am going to add the prefix profile elevation For my text style, I'm going to select plan and right bottom. So my text is going to have an origin at the right bottom. For my favorite, I'm going to expand our vertical alignment elevation and select that profile elevation favorite that we created. I'm now going to close and note our profile elevation has been placed in plan. Now I actually annotated my horizontal in the beginning because I knew that I'd have text overlap and because I displayed that in the beginning uh, that text overlap would have been obvious. Now that we have our annotation placed we can actually make edits if needed. I want to select manage once again
and I'm going to change my increments to 50 and I'm also going to change my style instead of plan right bottom this time I'm going to select plan left bottom and you'll see that overlap that I mentioned before Our text is now to the right of our alignment and again you can see the overlapping text there which is why I selected uh, the initial style of plan right bottom. and feel free to test other styles but for me the plan right bottom was ideal